Hello and welcome back to the Master Civil Engineering. In this video, you will learn that how to apply the tape corrections and find the correct length of any line in the field, okay, using the steel tape. So the question is given and it states that a steel tape which was exactly 20 meter long at 20 degree centigrade when supported throughout its length under a pull of 5 kg. A line was measured with this tape under a pull of 16 kg and at a mean temperature of 32 degree centigrade. It was found out to be 680 meter long. Assuming the tape is supported at every 20 meter, we have to find the true length of the line. Given that the cross-sectional area of the tape is 0.03 cm square, Young's modulus of elasticity is 2 into 10 is power 10 kg per meter square. Coefficient of thermal expansion of steel tape is 11 into 10 is power minus 6 per degree centigrade and the weight of tape is 10 grams per centimeter cube. First we will see what is given in the question. So we have been given the nominal length of the tape is 20 meter. Mean tape temperature that is at the time of measurement is 32 degree centigrade. Standard tape, uh, tape temperature, okay, it is 20 degree centigrade. Standard pull is 5 kg and applied pull at the time of measurement is 16 kg. The recorded distance or you can say the length, measured length of the line is 680 meter. Coefficient of thermal expansion of steel tape is 11 into 10 is power minus 6 per degree centigrade. Young's modulus of elasticity is 2.1 into 10 is power 10 kg per meter square. Cross sectional area of tape is 0.03 centimeter square, or you can say 0.03 into 10 is power minus 4 meter square. Weight of tape is 10 grams per centimeter cube, or you can say 10 into 10 is power 3 kg per meter cube. And the total weight of tape will be equal to weight per unit volume into volume, so it will be equal to W into cross-sectional area into length of tape. So it will be equal to 0 0.6 kg. Now the first thing we will do is to find the correction due to the temperature. So correction due to temperature is given as alpha Tm minus Ts into L. So it will be equal to 11 into 10 is power minus 6 into 32 minus 20 into 680. So this is equal to 0 0.0898 meter. This is the correction due to the temperature for the total length of the line. Now we will find the correction due to the pull. So correction due to the pull is PA minus PS into L divided by AE. Putting values we get 16 minus 5 into 680 divided by 0 0.06 into 10 is power minus 4 into 2.1 into 10 is power 10. So this is equal to 0 0.0594. Again this is positive like the temperature correction. Now correction for sag it is always negative so it is equal to minus w square l divided by 24 pa square okay w is the total weight of the tape so putting values we get the correction for the sag as minus 0 0.6 square into 680 divided by 24 into 16 square which will be equal to minus 0 0.0398 meter. So this was correction for the sag. Now the total correction that is correction due to the temperature pool and the sag it will be equal to 0 0.0898 plus 0 0.0594 minus 0 0.0398 which will be equal to 0 0.1094 meter. So this is the total correction and it is positive. So the true length of the line will be measured length plus the correction because correction is positive so we will be adding it to the uh, measured length so that the uh, true length of this line will be 680 plus 0 0.1094 which will be equal to 680.1094 meter so we can say this is the true length of the line and it is the greater than the measured length of the line okay so after applying the correction the true length of uh, line came out to be greater than the measured length of the line okay so this is how we can apply the tape corrections in case of steel tapes okay i hope this solution video was clear for you and you learned something new from this video if you like this video you can subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video